What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you guys something that I've showed you guys almost two years ago so I thought like why not make an updated 2018 version and that is basically how to create an audio spectrum in Vegas Pro. For the people who don't know what an audio spectrum is, it is basically an animation of uh, bars or a circle that is moving on the beat of the music. A perfect example of this is no copyright sounds. You know, they use the circle that moves on the music and I'm not gonna show you guys today how to drag in the NCS circle and put that under music and cut it. I'm gonna create an awesome audio spectrum from scratch that is in fact going to move exactly Exactly on the music so make sure to hit that like button down below let's try to hit 250 likes that should be easy and I would say let's get started so before this video starts I want I want to mention that you need some plugins now don't worry guys I have videos on the channel about those plugins because you need the sapphire plugin for this one so if you guys want to get that plugin make sure to check out the first link in the description that is to the video where you can get the sapphire plugins so once you've watched that video and you install the plugins you can come back to this video and then we can proceed so let's get started and let's do it from here. So in order to make a audio spectrum, what we're going to do is first we're going to drag in the song. Just the NCS song, a mp3 file. I'm going to drag that in real quick. Okay, this is a song. I just lowered the volume just a little bit. So this is a song that we're going to use. Uh, it is called uh, Take It Easy by No Copyright Sounds. So that sounds really cool and we're gonna make an audio spectrum move on this song. In order to do this, what we're gonna do is first drag in the song, then we're gonna go ahead and create a new video track. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and right click on the video track and we're gonna insert an empty event. Then what we're gonna do, it is going to be pretty, pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and use the Sapphire plugin. So we're gonna go to the uh, video effects tab and the effect you need by that is from the pl uh, Sapphire plugin is going to be BCC Scatterize. So we're gonna go ahead and look for the BCC effect and we're gonna scroll all the way down until we are at the S and we're gonna go ahead and look for the Scatterize, which is this one. We're gonna go ahead and click on it once and then we're gonna drag that guy on top of the empty event. Now, once we've done that, the box is popping up and we want to, you know, adjust some details. So that is basically what we're gonna do right now. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna scroll down until we see enable beat reactor. So we're gonna go ahead and check that one. And then basically what we want to do is the song that we just dragged in into Vegas, the MP3 file, you want to convert that to an AIFF file. You can do that online. If you just Google MP3 to AIFF, you can just drag in the song, upload it to the website, and you can download it straight away because this plugin does not recognize MP3 files. It only supports um, AIFF. So we're gonna go ahead and click on external file. And as you can see right here it is, if I put my mouse over, as you can see the type says AIFF. So we're gonna double click on it. So if you go ahead and drag it in, as you can see, there is our audio visualizer. Now if I go ahead and play it back, it will move exactly on the song because it is the same song that we just uh, imported. So this is what it looks like right now. So that is basically how to create an audio spectrum. And now the biggest question that you guys all have, why is the no copyright sounds circle in your thumbnail? Well, 
I just showed you guys how to create an audio spectrum, but I'm gonna include two clips of previous videos I made about how to create the NCS circle in After Effects and in Vegas Pro. I'm gonna show you guys right now how to do this in After Effects, and after that, I will see you guys and I will redirect you guys to the video about how to do that in Sony Vegas Pro. So make sure to hang tight and watch the After Effects clip until the end, and I will catch you guys when that clip is done. This video is about you know, how, like showing you how to make it move in After Effects now. I can already hear you guys like it looks like this is just uh, using a template and not creating itself well guys you should be happy that there is already a visualizer uh, made for you so it will save you a lot of time and i would say let's get started so actually we need a few things to get started we need four things to be able to make this video so the first thing that we need is a no copyright sounds visualizer that ncs logo a nice background and no copyright sounds music. So if you want to get your hands on that, you can check out the description. But in this video, I'm going to go go and start from scratch. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to Google right now and we're going to type in hell at night and we're going to find a nice background that NCS would also use. So as you guys can see, this one looks very similar to a no copyright sounds background because NCS uses actually like a very cool and very uh, cinematic picture. So I'm going to pick this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to save this one to the folder. We are going to use this picture to align everything. So I, so now we, we can see where the circle and where the logo is. So it makes it a lot easier to position it where it should be. So I'm going to also drag in the logo and I'm going to place it on my timeline right now and as you guys can see i'm just going to crop it um to exactly where the ncs logo is so that we have the like the exact same position as ncs has this is just a little like a help trick so you can place it on the right position because because we're going to remove this orange uh, thumbnail afterwards so i just want to make sure that you will align the the ncs logo on the template one on the thumbnail one and now we can also align our circle on the right as you guys can see it makes everything a lot easier speeds up a lot we have now the ncs logo on the perfect position i removed um, the, the thumbnail as you guys can see and now we have a nice background the NCS logo and the only thing we need to add now is music and the visualizer itself and the awesome thing is that you don't need to make this visualizer itself it's going to save you hours of time but there is already a visualizer done for you so we're, we're going to drag in that one also and we're going to place this one on the right and we're going to use that thumbnail of NCS just to align it to make it to have to put it on the perfect position but I'm going to do I'm going to uh, drag in uh, the thumbnail again as you guys can see so we can align our visualizer with the orange shirt so I'm gonna drag in uh, the actual visualizer. I'm gonna put this one at the bottom and what you want to do is as you guys can see if I put it on the top It has like a black background so to remove that we're gonna go to the top and we're gonna look for a chroma key or color key I'm gonna put that to black as you guys can see just mess around a little bit with those markers until the black is gone boom so that's basically how you do it. So now that we have our circle in there, you just want to align it uh, where, with the orange one, uh, which I'm going to do in a second. So as you guys can see, the next thing that we're going to type in uh, is a little bit brightness and contrast, just to make it a little bit like more powerful. And I would say this already looks like a like a freaking, as you guys can see, NCS video. It's just like a nice logo on the left and then at the right, our visualizer that's moving. This looks like a legit NCS video, guys, but we made this ourselves. That's how awesome it is. So what we're going to do now is, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to include a little preview with the music um, because as you guys can see, like in Sony Vegas back in March, uh, this was not moving at all. It was just a still picture from Google and right now This is the After Effects video that you guys all have waited for and asked for so in this video Of course, this is how to make it move on the music. Of course, I'm going to add in the music guys. Don't worry um, So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag in a song so that I will uh, Make sure to align the circle. So I'm gonna drag in the song uh, onto my timeline at the bottom as you guys can see so I will show you guys a preview of how it looks with the song um, Included so I would say this is a little preview of the song
So that looks really awesome, guys. So with the entire song, this is what we made so far. Okay, so that was how to do it in After Effects. I want to thank you guys already for watching until this very end. And right now, Sony Vegas is coming up. So this is how to create the no copyright sound circle in Vegas Pro. Coming up. So there are four things we need. The first thing is a nice background. The second thing is the logo of No Copyright Sounds. The third one is the No Copyright Sounds visualizer, the circle, also a song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the first thing, which is which is which is a nice background. So I'm going to drag in the background in here. So as you can see right here, we have a beautiful background of a hill at night, and they also lower the opacity a little bit, so it made it a little bit darker. So I would say this looks fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a real thumbnail of a video so I can align the logo and the circle. So let me drag in a random thumbnail of a NCS video real quick. A few moments later. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have a nice uh, thumbnail of a uh, NCS video. So we're gonna use this one like a template just to align the logo and the circle. So the next thing they wanna do is we dragged in our background as you guys can see. So I'm going to place this one right here. Then we're going to drag in the NCS logo. You can find all the files in the folder on the in the description below. So I'm going to just place in the NCS logo, but it's way too big. So what I'm going to do I'm going to right click create a new video track and I'm going to place this logo on top of it as you guys can see it's way too big so what we're going to do is we're gonna go over to the track motion icon on the left the white one and we're gonna just drag this smaller and smaller until it fits exactly on the logo so let me just resize it a little bit so let's see if it works so if I place this guy next to it it should be like the exact same it should be the exact same size and I'm going to just close that out and now I'm, now I'm going to uh, like remove the thumbnail for the video real quick and as you guys can see we have a nice NCS logo on the perfect place and then with the black and with the background so the next thing that we're going to do the next one is the visualizer now you guys don't need to make a visualizer yourself there's already one for like for, made for you I'm going to drag that guy in right here I don't need the audio of that one so as you guys can see I'm going to create also a new video track I'm going to make this logo as long as everything else so I'm going to place it I would say right there right there boom so as you guys can see right now we have the logo there is like a black background so what you want to do is you want to go over to video effects you just want to pick uh, the chroma key you want to drag it on top of the visualizer and you want to pick the, the color black of course and as you guys can see you can look through it it is that awesome it's that simple we can look through it but it, so this is how it looks when it's just playing without any music and everything so what you also see is a little bit black going around so you need to mess with the like with the, with the chroma key. I'm going to go back to the chroma key and we're going to mess with those markers until it's gone. And I would say, boom, it's gone. Just mess around a little bit with, with the low threshold and let's see how it looks right now. So, but it's a circle is in the middle and we don't want it to be in the middle. So I'm going to go back to the thumbnail. And as you guys can see, we have a nice tem template. So I'm going to go over to the track motion icon of the track and I'm going to just resize it until it fits exactly on the circle on NCS, make it a little bit taller. And I would say it's gonna make this visualizer dance on the music. So I'm gonna place it right there. Now I'm going to just remove, a lot, well, lower the opacity of the thumbnail. And boom, guys, as you guys can see, we have a nice video playing an NCS visualizer with a background and a nice NCS logo in the perfect place. So the last thing that you want to do is you just wanna simply drag in your song. So I'm just gonna drag in the song Feel Good. And I would say, this is going to be how it, this is how it looks and I'm going to uh, play it back and this is what we created so far with all the files including in the in, in the folder uh, so with the visualizer applied the logo and the, the background everything everything aligned the circle aligned and the logo aligned with the music underneath it this is what we have created so far So that's how it looks guys so it is that amazing that's how it's done thank you for watching and i really appreciate the support okay so that's it for this video guys i want to thank you for watching thank you for the continued support and like i said at the beginning of this video let's try to hit 250 likes that should be easy i'll catch you guys obviously in a video tomorrow on friday on saturday and not on sunday because i'm moving houses next weekend so i have a lot of packing to do that's gonna be it and i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video